afternoon, everyone. I'm very glad that um, we meet here again, and I would like to recognize the presence of everyone from different schools, from different hospitals, and some of my friends from other DOH hospitals were here. Uh, Dr. Maurice and Dr. from uh, Osere, yes, both of you, yes. So to start with, I will be talking about uh, dental needs of special people. So not only autism, but um, special people. Uh, we have uh, categories of uh, special needs patient. So I will be mentioning that later on. What are the objectives of this lecture? First of all, to determine the dental needs of special dental care of SNP or special needs patient, to learn the dental clinical approach or management of dental needs of uh, dental needs um, patient, to learn when to start seeking dental attention of SNP and how to maintain good oral hygiene of special needs patient. When it comes to dental, kasi, even if it is not special, we, we go to the dentist only if there's pain. Diba? Yan ang mga typical patient, typical Pinoy. Pag may sakit, saka lang punta ng dentista. Misan magana. Tapos, pag in-appoint naman, late pupunta. Mga ganyan. Tapos, um, so next please. Who are special? Special needs patients define as any physical, developmental, mental, sensory, behavioral, cognitive, or emotional and speech impairment or limiting condition that requires medical or surgical management, healthcare intervention, and or use of specialized service or program. Patient with compromised uh, immunity. So in, in, uh, in, um, in a short, in short uh, mga special needs patient, not only with behavioral like autism, but, but patients with uh, medical condition that inhibits them to function normally. Katulad ng mga cancer patients, special needs patient yan, mga um, handicap uh, uh, patient with disability physically. So yung mga naka-wheelchair, mga heart patients, mga, um, uh, mga from children to adult, any, anyone with uh, medical and physical impairment or disability that inhibits them to function uh, normally. So in, in summary, what are the disability? Physical, so that it impairs them, uh, impairment to the mobility or respiratory. So yung mga mayroong um, amputated leg, leg result to uh, diabetic, mga diabetes uh, condition, karoon ng amputation. Respiratory, like yung mga, uh, like COPD, mga ganyan. Mental, emotional, like autism, ADHD. Um, sensory, like yung mga hearing impaired person. A visual, like blind person. And cognitive learning or LD learning disability and attention. What are the barriers that are uh, faced by special needs patient? Language barrier. Uh, of course, this patient, specifically autism, they do not complain. Ah, may mga sakit na ipin, malalaman nila ng family, ay, ba't hindi siya kumakain? Parang iba yung itsura ng mukha, mas malaki yung kabila, magana pala. Autism patient do not complain of any pain. Malalaman na lang yun ng family or parents na there's something wrong, patient doesn't eat. Or yinangat-ngat na lang yung kurtina, may masakit pa lang ipin. I will show you cases na autism. And then, um, sensory impairment. Of course, language barrier. Yung mga, yung mga mute, no? yung mga nagsasign language. Minsan, nakakapunta naman sila ng dentista. But the problem is, paano yung dentista yung maroon na mag-sign language? They cannot still treat the patient. One good thing, I, I can do sign language then, Kasi I am sped also. So a little. So that's why pag may mga de, uh, mute patient or do, we do uh, sign language. So there's pain, so I will do extraction. So, uh, yun lang naman yung barrier, pag sa language barrier. Sensory impairments such as vision and hearing problems. So, hearing problems common sa mga Alzheimer uh, disease naman. Uh, meron silang um, um, hearing and um, a little of uh, men uh, mental. And then, uh, vision yung mga blind. May mga syndrome kasi na blind. 
And then I will show you also a case like that. May mga syndromic, kasi when you say syndrome, it's a combination of many diseases that are results to a certain condition that sometimes pupunta lang sa'yo for that particular condition, but the, uh, in general, uh, health of the patient, combination of many diseases. Psychosocial issues such as low oral health literacy, dental anxiety, and past negative experiences. So, ang, pagka, ang, ang family kasi it's not aware of the oral health or dental health of the patient. Hindi yan dadalhin nga sa dentista. Kasi nga, first of all, may mga uh, a, a clinic na, yun nga, they are not properly trained to treat those patients. And then they will ask them to go to the hospital. So, if that is the case, the family of that patient will not go anywhere anymore. Antayin na lang. So, marami akong first time. Uh, autism patients, minsan at the age of 42, first time to see dentist per lang. Limited transportation, wheelchair ramp, disabled parking spaces. Ayun yung sinasabi ni ma'am kanina. There are some, uh, uh, li may mga, limited lang ang mga, has, uh, mga areas, even restaurant nga, na may mga ramp for, for disability uh, patients, special needs patients. Tapos kung sa hospital naman, Ang doctor's clinic nasa second floor, wala naman palang elevator going to second floor. Misan, makikita mo may mga hospital na gano'ng inaakyat yung wheelchair through the stairs. Dental offices that are not wheelchair accessible, cultural barriers such as healthcare providers with little training in cultural competency and treating patients with special needs. So, if the doctors or if the dental... Uh, facility is not aware of not properly trained in treating special needs patient. Mis may tendency, oh, ikaw na dyan, kaya mo na yan, ikaw nang bahala. Para may, may ganong culture. Pero if you are, if you are aware of, well, uh, familiar with treating all those patients, you will talagang you know how to approach from the beginning. First of all, ang autism, when they go to the clinic, dapat ang dentist walang mask. No, kasi usually, eh, mga dentists may mask agad. The autism should look at the face of the dentist from the very first time. Kasi kung nakamask ka na kaagad, hindi na yan tutuloy going to the dental chair. Sa entrance pa lang, hindi na. Okay. Strategies to overcome barriers. Provide education and networking resources to oral health professionals who serve SNP. Provide training for parents, family members, caregivers on how to perform appropriate oral hygiene. Lack of training may result in unwillingness to provide treatment to special need population. Of course, in any um, um, special needs patient, no, kailangan talaga dapat well support uh, ng family. Okay? Especially for the child. Kasi the first talagang caregiver of the, child, of, of the special need patient child is the parents. That's why kasama sila sa mga patient education and how to do proper oral hygiene. Kasi meron silang um, lack of dexterity, how to perform it. May mga improvision on how to use those uh, mga oral hygiene. Special Care Dentistry is a unique international organization of oral health professionals and other individuals who are dedicated to promoting oral health and well-being for people with special needs. In the U.S., uh, it's a combination of Council of Hospital Dentistry, Council of Dentistry for People with Disabilities, and Council of Geriatric Dentistry. So, meron silang mga focus no, ng mga special needs patient. Kasi sa, sa adult kasi, uh, mostly mga Alzheimer's disease, mga uh, physical uh, del debilitating or medically compromised, and then hospital has dentistry, mga cancer patients, and then people with disabilities, ito na yung mga mental and behavioral. So for now, in the U.S., they combine the three uh, council and it, they form na nga, special care dentistry. And I was um, lucky to be one of them. Okay. Oh, last 2007, I was able to, perf uh, to show and uh, give, uh, to, uh, to share my experience and show my, one of my cases in North Carolina 2017 and then in Georgia 2019. So I, I share it to them with my colleagues, with other special care dentists. Medyo konti lang talaga. 
Kasi, well, honestly, mahirap talaga mag, mag-treat, no? Pero when you were able to do your duty as a dentist for those kind of patients, it's really fulfilling. Pero kukunti nga lang. Sige. This is Leo Khan Kanner that uh, Dr. Covey mentioning a while ago uh, published a case of 11 or 12. Autism disturbance of effective contact. First time to use term autism. Uh, clinical group of children. You mentioned a while ago that um, cold parents, no, one of the cause of autism, and the term I first time first uh, time I encountered this term parentectomy. They remove the mother from the children who are suspected with uh, autism. So the doctors, yun ang treatment ng doctors. They remove pinap pinapahiwalay mo na yung magulang. Yung sa bata, yes. Tapos, uh, yun ang pinaka-treatment. And then, eventually, merong, meron namang improvement. But, uh, so, ito, it's a, okay, next na lang. We, uh, Dr. Kobe already exp uh, explained very well the autism. So, a little na lang. Obsessive routine, yun na lang. Ba, yan. Uh, version, ang predictable body movements and self-injurious behavior can affect dental treatment. Kasi kung first time talaga, misan uh, reconditioning muna. Okay, kasi meron silang mga behavior that can uh, limit the dental management of the dentist and quite injurious kasi yung dental chair, meron yung um, um, light that pwede nilang matamaan, tapos yung mga sharp instruments that can uh, really hurt them. So, may mga technique kung paano yung initial, uh, initial appointment and then yung followed up appointment. So, in summary, autism is composed of social deficit, language impairment, repetitive behavior. So, composed of intellectual disability and other factors can be considered like sleep deficit, mood anxiety, hyperactivity, sleep disorders, mood disorders, and ADHD. So, may mga pasyente rin ako na autism na not only autism but accompanied by other, other medical conditions. So, ito yung mga approach, no? Even if it's not autism for child, uh, high speed, kasi may ginagamit kami ng mga pangpasta. Medyo masakit sa ulo yun, di ba? Pag sa pagbata, so, uh, sensitive to tooth polishing, we make use of, uh, instead of manual scaling na lang. You can do manual scaling instead. Tapos, uh, allow listen to a favorite music, of course, headphone, um, a guardian to deep pressure, Sometimes yung deep pressure, deep pressure, you have to uh, a, a little bit press the, the, the jaw no? to, make lang the feel, to, to make lang the child feel na he, she is uh, secured with you. Dental chair hanging, uh, changing position, inform patient of what is about to happen. Use picture and visual schedule. I will show you a visual schedule. Taste of polishing uh, profi paste. Give patient a choice of Marami kasing flavor kasi ang um, polishing paste. So after manual scaling or um, deep scaling with the machine, pero ginagamit na profi paste, para toothpaste lang siya with ad adhesive kasi yun. So may mga flavor yun. You can ask the patient which flavor does he want. <clears throat> Dental light is too bright. Of course, wear dark black goggles. May nakaprepare naman. And then reactive gag response. Ako kasi... Uh, mouth mirror kasi namin metal. So when I insert the mouth mirror, I will ask the patient to open wide talaga. And then I will return the mirror lang without touching the tongue, the buccal mucosa, the palate. Kasi if the patient feel na meron something hard, it will close. So yung mouth mirror, ipaikot mo lang siya doon para makita mo lang kung meron bang sira yung mga ngipin sa taas and then show lang the pretty. But don't go lang yung, don't touch lang the, the buccal mucosa, the tongue, or else you will, ay, there's something hard inside my mouth, and the patient will close the mouth. Overactive gag uh, reflex, and then generalized noise. Of course, ayon talaga nila ng maingay, pero pwede sila makinig sa favorite music nila. And then allow child to bring favorite um, toy, merong kilang comfort toy na tinatawag. Allow child listen to a common favorite music and short appointments. Usually, initial initial appointment consult lang, and then show the child what are the function of your mga things nagagamit. Okay, next please. 
So basically, they are actually these are instruments I use in the OR. So before ko kasi pa instrument, this one, the one like a mouth mirror, um, like a scissor, like a scissors, yon parang parang gunting siya. Yan ang lagi kong gamit to op to keep the mouth open. That is a mouth uh, prop to keep the mouth open. Siyempre, pag general anesthesia, close lahat. So, to keep the mouth open. Okay, oh, next please. So, this patient is a nine-year-old girl. Ang um, story nito, uh, the, the parents really wanted, you know, to have a baby. After two years, sila nagka-baby. Okay, itong baby na to, talagang long-weighted itong pasyente na to. So, very happy naman. Unfortunately, unfortunately both parents are working and then naiiwan sa yaya si baby. In six months old, nahulog si baby ng yaya. Nagkaroon ng tubig ang ulo. Hindi alam ng, 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 ng mother. So, nalaman na lang ng mother when pinaliligoan the baby, something bulging doon sa ulo. And, ano, so, pinalis, in short, pinalis yung yaya. So, in two years, na-detect siya with autism. I cannot tell that the fall of the patient that causes the, the autism. Of course not. But, you know, the mother also thought na yun ang dahilan. So, marami kasing factors eh. And this child is really something unique because her favorite food, kasi ang autism, meron sila mga rituals, no? May mga rituals silang ginagawa. Her favorite food is hamburger. But before she eats the hamburger, she will remove the tomato, she will remove the lettuce, she will remove the patty, she will remove the cheese. So, may iwan yung bun. So, yun lang kakainin niya. <laughs> Ayun. So, the, the mother child actually gave her a bun. Umuha siya ng bun. But the child doesn't want to eat the bun. Oo. Gusto nila yung may ritual siya. Mga ganyan. So, anyway, I extracted eight teeth and, I, uh, and six restoration uh, in the OR. Okay, next, please. This one is my eldest, actually, at the age of 42. She, uh, first time niya to see a dentist. Sabi ko, Mami, bakit ngayon nagpunta ng dentista? Eh, kasi sumula bata, wala namang masakit. And then, mahirap siya dalit kasi malaking talagang bulas siya. So, wala na, wala, hindi na siya nadala. So, anyway, yung ngipin niya doon sa, ito, itong ngipin na to, actually, hindi ngipin niya, ha? Ganyan kalaki na yung tartar niya. So that bulky. So imagine yung for 42 years, uh, naipon yung dumi ng ngipin. Di ba, di ba at the age of 3, nagpapadental na tayo, di ba? Three, kasi kompleto na yung ngipin niya, na the age of 2 eh. So naalagaan na siya, nagpapadental na yan. And then every 6 months, nagpapadental. But for him, at the age of 42, to see a dentist. So I did uh, multiple tooth extraction, a restoration and or prophylaxis. So when you do na extraction, you also do na alveoloplasty. Uh, so pagka muna ko na lahat ng ipin, medyo pantayin mo na yung buto and then you suture it na. And use absorbable sutures. Because pag nagising na yan, hindi na nangangayan ulit. Okay, hindi na yan nangangayan ulit. Kaya maintenance, maintenance na lang. Kaya make, make sure the sutures are absorbable. Okay, next please. <coughs> Oh, this is with Dr. Kov. You remember when I visited you and uh, we went to Columbia University to attend the forum of autism and it was mentioned then that before the age of, uh, before the discovery of Dr. Kanner of autism, it was already exist, no? existing na talagang autism. It's just that nobody's still uh, making a research on that. It was really a great experience. And then visual schedule. Along with repeated weekly visits showed some promise in helping uh, children with autism successful complete more steps progress at a quick rate and exhibit lower levels of behavioral distress within a dental appointment compared to a traditional tell show do approach from the journal of clinical pediatric dentistry so that is kasi nung college tayo tell show or di ba pinapakita natin oh this is the lives show tell show lang tayo but ngayon may visual schedule na tinatawag na Next, please. The visual schedule is like this. So, kailangan pakita nyo siya ng picture. Oh, uh, pupunta tayo sa clinic ni Doktora. And the clinic is inside the, this building. 
So may picture na, para na napoprogram na sa utak niya. Kasi na, autism kasi is something uh, meant neurological, ba diba? So kailangan napoprogram na yung brain niya na uh, we're going to this ano, building and that building is inside, uh, uh, the clinic is inside that building. Next. And then, you will sit on the dental chair. You can put the name, let's say Peter, will sit and relax on the dental chair and the dental chair will show you if it is uh, the chair, the demonstrate you chair na up and down, back and forth, yun. And then, sit on the dental chair with well, wear glasses, so yun, papakita mo rin. May picture talaga ganyan, some parents, nila laminate yan para nakakita, ah, ito na yung gagawin ko next, ito na yung gagawin ko next. And then, open your mouth wide. Okay. And then, something, uh, in, something will go inside my mouth, like the mouth mirror, and then the explorer, tooth counter, and then the profit paste, and the brush. So at least, pag inamit ng dentista, alam na, niya, alam na ng pasyente na, oh, nakita ko doon sa picture. Ito yung gagamitin sa akin, exactly. So, napop na, nakaprogram na sa mind ng pasyente. Okay, next. So, this is what I use in my clinic. So, I make a parang a one sheet lang siya na pwede naman i, ano, i-laminate. So, your next visit will be, makalagay na yung date. Aabangan na yan actually ng, ano, ng pasyente. So, especially for autism. Yeah, because very, very particular din sila sa mga dates. And then, like Peter, it is a nice to see him. Uh, how are you? So, yung sabi niya. Kaya, pag nakita ni Peter yan, balating sa clinic, Hello! Kasi nakita niya na may hello. Okay? And then come, let us visit. And then pupunta na yan agad sa dental chair. Kasi nakita niya na yung dental chair. Eh. And then pag dental chair, ilalabas niya na yung, yung goggles niya. Ilalabas na niya yung headphone niya. And then di mo pa sinasabing umanga nga nga na yan. O, oh, hindi madali na yung trabaho mo, no? Bilang dentista. Ilawan mo na siya. Tapos, um... And then some yung mga yung mga yung mga first time yun kailangan mo pang sabihan ng so one two count to count one to three to check your teeth and then explain mo bakit mo nililinis and then show the uh, itsura ng bacteria pangit and then the suction tip okay on the left side and then floss yan so with the thumbs up pag tapos na and then pwede niya na ulit iuwi yung uh, visual schedule Okay, this is another special case, Marfan syndrome. Marfan syndrome is of 5,000 people with uh, have Marfan syndrome, including men and women of all races and ethnic groups. About three out of people with Marfan syndrome inherit it, meaning they get it again through genetics. But some people with Marfan are first in their family to have it, and uh, there is a 50% chance with pass along the genetic from the Marfan Foundation. Okay, next. Okay. Actually, there's no test for Marfan syndrome. There, there is no even x-ray for Marfan syndrome. Mga features lang yan. Okay, may mga features lang yan. So, for Marfan syndrome, Steinberg sign. If you do like this, for us regular people, hindi lumalagpas yung tongue. Diba? Pero when you do it, pag yung tam lumagpas na sa ganyan, meron, ito kasi pinipilit ko eh, di ba? So, pag, for them, pag lumagpas na yan, that's more fun syndrome. Kasi mahaba yung extremities nila. Okay? And then, your wrist. So, kung ito, um, yan, lumagpas, lumagpas din dito. So, that is more fun syndrome. Kasi nga, again, mahaba yung fingers and the extremities. So, that is that uh, special uh, feature of Marfan syndrome. Okay, next. And this is my case. Meron siyang mass on the upper uh, arch for eight months. 35-year-old male, upper arch. Sometimes it tastes like blood. Basta mag-bleed na eh. Had a consult, no, no allergy, no hospitalization. At the age of 12, there's a weak vision. At age 28, blind na siya for both eyes. And loss of vision at the age of 29. And her height, Ayun, high school graduate. Okay, next. Okay. Ang Marfan syndrome, kung halimbawa, height mo is 163 centimeter. Ang sa Marfan syndrome, longer. The, 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 the
measurement for your left hand to your right mas mahaba dun sa height so bilateral blind there's a pectus carinatum so yon so yung medyo medyo uh, bulk, bulky yung kanyang uh, pectoris uh, muscles and uh, bone dun. next please ayan medyo protruded that is a pectus carinatum okay next so intraorally there's a 2.5 2.5 by cm so this is 1 cm actually and this is 2 cm so two and a half mga ganyan kalaki okay moderate calcular deposits multiple root fragments and carries teeth so when i remove that lesion the, there is a the result is pyogenic granuloma in patient with marfan syndrome okay next as a sped educator kasi nga a sped educator din ako i i combine with my uh, experience and knowledge in applying it to my special needs patient i crumpled the paper Pasin laki ng munggo, sin laki ng pinat, then sin laki ng hollen, and then sin laki ng jackstone. And then syempre kasi yung patient, for us doctors kasi, whether dental or medical, we have to get a complete history of the patient for you to come up with the correct diagnosis and therefore correct treatment. So, hindi alam ng pasyente kung kailan nagumpisa yung bukol niya. So sabi ko, nakapik nakapikit siya, nasabi, pinifil niya. Pag ganito ba, mga ilang buwan, na feel mo, Mga ganito siguro mga two weeks ago or the two months ago. O nung ganito nakalaki, nafe-feel naman niya. As in, laki ng pinat, mga one month ago. Ganito nakalaki, so two weeks ago. So through through your modification as pet teachers, now you will be able to get a good history. So in two months time, in three months time, sin laki na pala siya ng, uh, sin laki na siya ng kalahati ng jackstone. So mas malaki pa sa holin. So ganon. Ganong kalaki yung lesion niya. Kaya pala, nagdutugo kasi nakakagat niya. Kasi nga malaki na yung lesion. Malaki na yung mass. And of course, there's no other, there's no uh, dental clinic who wanted to uh, do the procedure. Kasi nga, pagka nalaman na may syndrome, ay, ay maraming sakit to. Ayoko muna. Sa hospital na lang. Punta na lang sa hospital. Yun ang normal response. So, I remove the, the, the tissue and then the inside the tissue is a multiple root fragments kasi ang pyogenic granuloma is caused by trauma and um, poor oral hygiene so kung marami na papillary deposit at mga upod ng ipin na to trauma so the tissue proliferates ng malaki so tinanggal ko na yon using the cautery and of course the blade and then suction okay next so one week after ayun na siya and then actually, nagko-contact na kami, ready na siya for uh, uh, dentures. And actually, he is a blind massage. Huh? Nagba-blind massage. Yun ang kanyang uh, work ngayon. Alzheimer's disease is a irreversible progressive retrogenerative condition and the most common form of dementia. A term that describes group of symptoms affecting memory, social abilities that affects daily life. It is unknown but is believed to be multifactorial. So, maraming um, cause ang Alzheimer. Uh, multifactorial means it, me, me, ma, not uh, caused by not only medical but uh, environmental. So, pag nagkaka-age kasi, kailangan talaga na um, active pa rin yung brain. So, you read, you go out with friends, you do activities, or else, um, yun, kaka-develop na Alzheimer. Familiar ba? Yung nasan yung salamin ko? Yung pala suot mo, no? May mga ganong factors. Suot pala, nandito sa ulo. <laughs> okay. Uh, no laboratory test for Alzheimer, but there are common signs of AD. You have memory changes that disrupts daily life, challenges in planning or solving problems, confusion with time and place, uh, trouble understanding visual e uh, images, misplacing things, change in moods. Okay, next. Other oral health conditions decrease saliva due to med medication. We not be able to communicate that they are experiencing compromise due to disorientation and uh, more oral diseases. Of course, as we age kasi, habang tumatanda ang, ang tao, yung bone nagre-resort. Diba? Normal naman lahat sa atin yan. Pati pa nga. Kaya akala nila, oh, lumirate yung mukha ko. Hindi. Kasi 
nagre-resolve yung buo natin. In any part of our body, that's normal actually. Kaya nga, pwede, we, cannot, we cannot stop that, but pwede natin i-delay yan through proper nutrition, activities, etc. So actually, uh, intraoral naman, kaya they are very prone to periodontal disease. So periodontal disease is the condition kung saan uh, lumalabas na yung ugat ng mga ngipin. Kasi nga, luminipis yung panga panga sa taas at saka panga sa baba, lower jaw and maxilla and mandibular jaw. So, nagkakaroon ng periodontitis. Pag lumabas kasi o nag-show na yung root portion ng ngipin, medyo malapit na yung umuga. So, therefore, extraction na yun. So, yun ang periodontal disease. Next, please. Ayan. This is my kanina, uh, eldest ko for autism. This is my eldest patient that I have handled. This is actually three weeks ago lang. When I asked the patient to uh, to smile para makita ko yung ngipin, sabi ko, smile? Sabi ng pasyente. So, naano siya, na disorient siya kung paano bang itsura noon. So, well, for, for, for AD kasi, <coughs> you, you, <coughs> you have to show them also. When you ask to, when you ask them to smile, kailangan makita mo, smile. Ganon. Kaya para gagayahin ka niya. Smile. Misa pag sinabi mo, smile po. Pag sinabi mo, smile po lang, nganganga lang niya, sabi niya. Okay. Hindi niya alam na ang ginawa niya is nganga. Hindi pa, hindi pala is smile. So, smile. I said, open your mouth. Ah, uh, nganga din siya. So, ganon. Anyway, this patient um, is a retired dentist, 94 years old. So, actually, wala siyang any uh, medical condition. Sabi ko, believe ako, wala siyang uh, any very tall man, wala siyang any medical condition. So, walang problema. But, when we, we are, we, we, when we are inside the OR, during the intra-op na, biglang nag-hypertensive. So, probably could be from the age then. Tsaka, siguro, undetect uh, medical other condition that can contribute to that hypertension. So, we deferred the OR initially. So, lahat, ready na kami, lahat ready na, pero there, there are, there are conditions na we need to defer it. So, our team decided to defer the procedure or else kasi pwedeng mag-trigger mag, ano mag to another medical condition. The, the, the IM or the, the internal medicine uh, people give a medication to lower down the BP. But the patient reaches the maximum amount of medication to lower the BP. Kasi hindi pwedeng lumagpas doon or else baka mag-hypo naman. Mas mahirap, mas mahirap yon na biglang mag-hypo during the OR. So, we deferred it. And then, that is the second na. Next, we were able na, ayan na siya, smile, tapos ngumanga si Lolo. Okay. So, yon Next, please. Ayan na. So, that time, we were, on the second time, we were able naman to remove nine teeth yata. Nine ba? Ayun, one, two, three, four, five, nine teeth. Of course, with aviloplasty and restoration. At siya talaga ang nag-request, sabi niya, Doktora, gusto ko tulog ako. Ayaw kong pabalik-balik. Siyempre, di ba, pag may edad na, yun yun lang paulit-ulit. Kahit siya yung mismo, siya yung paulit-ulit. So, ayaw niya pabalik-balik sa, sa clinic. So, kaya siya nag-decide na rin na, na, ano, na general anesthesia. And we were able na to, to remove everything. Then, babalik na siya sa ngayon sa akin, for denture na lang. So, ito, grinding of teeth and loss of appetite. This is the complaint of autism patient. One month prior to consult according to the mother. Ito ang observation ng mother. Uh, doktora, wala akong problema simula noon sa pagkain niya. Kaya lang, napuna ko lang. Bigla na lang sumisigaw yan. At nangigigil. At nakikita ko yung kurtina namin butas na. Kasi ninangat-ngat niya. Yan ang parang tingin ko sa ngipin yun. So, ganun kasi usually lang symptoms kasi nga the, the OTC will not complain of any pain. So, napun, napun, napansin nyo ng mother. So, sige po, uh, in-explain ko, I explain very well the management of OTC for when it comes to dental, no previous hospitalization, no allergy, pero may ubo na konti, but not productive, walang phlegm. Tapos yun lang, meron siyang loss of appetite. At, ang something na uh, ang tawag dito, uh, remarkable, one month siya, uh, one month, hindi, mga two weeks yata siya, hindi nagpupupo. And that is something, you know, to get, you uh, know, attention. Okay. 
So, yun. Alright. So, na-detect siya at age of 5. Of course, may mga features. Okay, next please. And then, when binigyan ko na siya ng mga lab requests, sana, for OR na eh, schedule. But, when the results came out and she gave to me the impression of chest x-ray, meron siya pulmonary TB, pulmonary tuberculosis, and then look at the hemoglobin, it's 81 only. The normal is 120 to 140. So, sabi ko, I decided to make, to, to call the attention of other specialty because that is anemia and that is TB na hindi pwedeng i-treat uh, prior to dental. So, kailangan yan muna ang gawin. So, I referred it to the um, other specialty and it, patient was admitted. And then, next please, given medication upon admission for the TB. For a regular patient kasi, kahit walang eh, uh, autism, for us dentists kasi, before we treat the TB patient, at least nag-medication muna siya ng two months. Kasi the, the, the protocol of TB uh, treatment, at, that is management kasi, di ba, they will take six months medication. So for us then, before to treat, at least naka two months medication. Okay, next please. Ayan, okay, next na. So this is the normal values that we recommend to TB patients. And then next please. So anemia, anemia is a common uh, complication of pulmonary tuberculosis. So kung may TB ka, definitely you will have an anemia because of the cytokine production, nutritional deficiency, and malabsorption. Di ba hindi nga kumakain yung pasyente? So nagkaroon ng nutritional deficiency and malabsorption, di pa nga nagpupupo for two weeks, and then it results to anemia, suggest because of iron deficiency, cause of anemia with uh, uh, TB patient. So, of course, may pale, may swollen, may uh, cracks and soreness of corners of the mouth. Next, please. So, itong pasyente na to, kaya pala mataas yung kanyang infection, WBC. Kasi, meron din pala siyang malaking pigsa sa hita. You can see the boundary of the lesion. Ito, ganito kalaki yung lesion niya. Because this is already 17 post-op. So, nakikita nyo yan. Ganyan kalaki yung lesion niya from there. Okay? So, yan kasi, naoperahan na siya. And that is already 17 days ago. So, our team composed of general surgery, IM, ENT, me, and um, anesthesiologist. Okay? So, nag-transfuse kasi nga may anemia. We did a transfusion of two pack RBC. Kasi nga malaki yung infection prior to surgery. Next, please. Okay, next please. So on the hospital day, uh, we checked in with the ENT kasi nga hindi nagre-respond. Kasi naman kahit pa paano ito, isang nagre-response yan eh. But for, for that patient, yung pala meron ding impacted uh, serumen, both bilateral. So after I did the uh, dental, uh, ENT followed to do the ear. So extraction of uh, mini teeth, eight ulit or nine. Then procedure done. So, yun. Okay, next please. So, ayan na siya. During that time, may libreng gupit sa mga pasyente. So, bagong gupit yung pasyente. Meron kasing ganun na yun, mga libre-libre minsan. Ayan. So, that is before and now the patient post-op. Ayan, next please. Ito, ang ma ito, ito, ito very distinct to. Every time she comes to me, lagi lang one ang kasama. Only the mother. Siguro, siguro mga six months, no? Na follow-follow up. And then they decided magpa-OR. And then during the OR, meron na nakuhang room. Lagi lang isang lagi yung kasama niya. Sabi ng mother, uh, Doktora, gusto ko po kumuha ng mas malaking room. Ay, hindi po kailangan. Kasi pag I always admission lang, na hospital lang siya for two days. And then discharge na. As soon as I finish the, ano, the procedure, on the second day, discharge na. Kaya lang, I need to stay in the PACU, post-anesthesia care unit. You have to stay in the PACU kasi once the patient woke up, they will remove all the tubing. So, very important na stay kayo kung hindi tatanggalin yung mga IV, lahat. So, kailangan ba din? Anyway, the mother requested for a bigger room. Sabi ko, hindi naman po kailangan kasi two days lang. Hindi, mas gusto ko talaga. So, nakakuha sila ng bigger room. So, when I did their procedure, um, yun pala, kaya gusto mal, uh, kaya pala gusto ng mother ng ng bigger room. Kasi during the discharge, dala ang isang barangay na pamilya. 
Lahat ng kamag-anak nandun. Kasi the patient was, was so loved and supported by the family. Punong-puno yung room ng mga kamag-anak. Puro kamag-anak lang. But anyway, this kasi, autism kasi, walang, hindi ko nakukuha ng x-ray yan. So when it comes to the OR yan, surprise talaga. Kung ilan yung tatanggalin mo, hindi mo alam. Kasi hindi sila, sila pwedeng kuhaan dahil ayaw nila na mainir sa x-ray. Eh. So for this patient, unfortunately, akala ko harap lang yung problema, no? Yung pala may tatlong impacted teeth. The impacted teeth is embedded in the bone. Siguro kahit sa mga regular, alam ko ano yung impacted tooth, nakabaon yun sa buto. And that, that is really surgery. Na you have to remove the bone, and you have to make a flap, incision, expose the bone, and then remove the bone, expose the tooth. So ayun, no, yung isa. Impacted teeth. So I did the patient for four hours that long. Kasi nga, tatlo yung impacted teeth niya that I need to remove. Kasi hindi, kung hindi tatanggalin, lalo mag-i-infect din yun. So even if the mother only complained, ay kasi may sira siya dito, you see everything na rin that needs treatment or else it will uh, resolve another uh, problem. Sige, next please. Ito naman, this is a heart patient. The patient is a three years old that will undergo open heart surgery. Okay? But this patient, uh, kailangan tanggalin lahat ng sirang ipet or else kasi pa nag-open heart surgery, kailangan there, walang cause of infection. And intraoral is the main so source of infection. So I need to remove all the caries teeth. So ang tapang ng bata, mag-four siya actually. So I remove all those teeth. So halos lahat, nawala. So anyway, nakischedule na siya. So choosing between sedation and general anesthesia as part of general management will depend on the oral diagnosis assessment of the behavior and other medical condition. So behavioral management, good oral hygiene maintenance, periodic recall will depend on the support of the family. It's very important, family support, relatives and caregivers. Next, please. Okay, next, please. Those are my references. A child with special needs will inspire you to be a special kind of person. And that's very true. To be kind is more important than to be right. Many times what people need is not a brilliant mind, but, but a mind that speaks with a special heart that listens. With that, thank you very much.